What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and welcome back to my tactically deficient playthrough of Dawn of War 2. I hope you guys have been enjoying it thus far. We have a little bit of the equipment that we need to throw on our individuals. So let's go to our force commander first and foremost. We should probably give him pretty bitchin' armor. The reason being, he's gonna be our tank later on in the game. He's also got the pistol of ball. So we'll throw that on there. Yeah, that pistol's way more shooty. And then we'll take the mantle of the Great Father, and that actually gives him little study spikes on this shoulder. Just in case you need a little bit of additional friction on your shoulder pad. You never know. It's hard to tell. Sometimes you need a little bit of extra friction. Now does that go? Ah, that goes in the accessory slot. Okay. So he's got the med kit there. That should be fine. Let's look at everybody else. Tarkus has an extra accessory slot. I think I'll give him the locator beacon for now so that we can drop a turret out of orbit, and that's going to be pretty... It's going to be pretty bitchin'. No joke. That thing actually does work. It does a lot of work. We also need to give the Furious Absolution to Avatus, so let's give that to him. And that should increase his range damage quite a bit. Yeah, so he's up to... 75 DPS from 45. You can see all of their skills down in here. We've also got a bunch of level ups that we should probably throw around. I don't think there's anything for Cyrus and his ilk as of yet, but that's okay. They they just kind of run around hiding in the shadows anyways. And, oh, it gave him a golden knee pad too. That's pretty cool. Everybody needs a golden knee pad. I couldn't get up in the morning if I didn't have a golden knee pad. Let's give him one point there and one point there. That's going to unlock Zealous, which means his two victory charge is going to cost less energy, and he can charge from further away. Not a bad thing. That should work out pretty well. Next level, he should be able to get Battle Cry, which will make him even more badass in combat. For Tarkus, our dear friend Tarkus, we're going to give him more ranged power. So he just unlocked Bolter Specialist. That means when he's using a Bolter or a Storm Bolter, he can fire more frequently. That's going to be really useful later on down the line. I wasn't staring down here to see how it changed his DPS, but I'm almost positive it probably changed at least something. Avatus, we probably want to give him a bit more, well... It might be interesting to give him sure-footed through the melee line. That makes it so that he can't be knocked down while he's actually firing, while using focus fire. A little bit of extra health probably couldn't, eh, probably wouldn't hurt him either. The extra loadout slot might be nice though. Well, improves focus is going to give him even more range so that he can fire from way down in deep field. Let's work now towards maybe putting one point here and one point here. We'll work towards the loadout slot so that he can be a little bit more utilitarian. And I'll kind of think about what I want to do with Avatus because for now, actually, let's just put it all into range for now. I'll think about what I want to do with him in between episodes. I recorded episode 1, 2, and 3 at the same time, so this is all one big burst. I haven't had any time to look around and figure out what a good idea might be for my characters. As for Cyrus, we were going to give him sniping in the future. But Silent Revival is kind of cool too. It allows him to res people while cloaked. It's a pretty good ability. I think I'll go for the HP upgrade for now. That might... Well... Let's get him, since we're going to give him a sniper rifle, I at least want to give him to that, get him to that first trait so that he gets the, I think it's called like high power shot. Yeah, it's like a sniper shot from way, way deep field and it does so much damage. It's very sexy. It, it definitely depletes the health bars in a way that makes everybody go, oh. Now we have Sky Killer's raid. Oh, I guess we get to do Sky Killer. Cool. Commander, the orcs have struck another critical target. The orc raiding parties are led by a knob named Skykiller. This knob leads a squad of storm boys, orcs equipped with primitive jump packs. Storm boys are especially ruthless orcs that can strike quickly and escape before reinforcements arrive. Eliminate Skykiller. This will buy us valuable time and may uncover who is guiding these orcs. All right, let's deploy. I don't think the armor that we're going to pick up in between episodes, you can pause and see Cyrus's background if you're really interested, but the armor we're going to get for Cyrus as a result here isn't going to be that great. As you've seen, we tend to get things that drop anyways that are better than the rewards we get for missions, but down the line, some of the missions do get some really cool equipment that they can drop for you. There we go. I don't really care about the intro. Let's just jump straight in. It's just going to pan around anyways. And here we are. On the map, Commander. We will blaze a trail of blood straight there. Keep boasting, and the blood will be ours. 
Sounds like the scouts are going to be our first option. Let's get rid of this little gun turret. Kind of defilade here. I really, really hate approaching these things. If you don't have any type of explosives, those can be really nasty. We'll pull them back out as quickly as possible. And that should... Ooh, it looks like we've got... What are those? Slugger boys. Okay. Let's get everybody into cover as best as we can. And then get the force commander over here to deal with these guys. There we go. So it managed to do that. That's the benefit of suppression right there. If you can suppress the enemy that's trying to charge you for a melee strike, very, very cool stuff. Force commander's out of cover, but the scouts seem to be doing their job okay. I'm not going to berate them for anything. Let's first make sure that we've got this way clear, and then we'll sweep this way, wipe this out, and then we'll head up to the command point, which I actually think is on the next level, so we may not even need to... Yeah, it's on the next level up there. We may not even need to clear this out, but we will just for thoroughness's sake. That sounds like a commander's name. Commander Theronis. Hopefully there's no grenades being chucked here. I really, really hate dodging grenades because I'm really, really bad at it. And it's sort of embarrassing every time they throw a grenade and get me killed. I'm going to throw a grenade at them just to clear them out because we've got an extra supply kit right there anyways, so why not use it? He's got 25, and there he goes. All right, support item increase. I'm going to send the TAC Marines to there. I might be able to get somebody into cover right here. There we go. That's what I like to see. What are these? Ooh, big shooter boys. Never mind. Run away. Don't get suppressed. Let's get Avatus moved up, and then we'll consider with the Force Commander rushing in on them. Hey. I told you to do a thing, man. Looks like he got caught in the bushes. And the Snarl of the Wolf. Cool. That was weird because it has a chainsword as its picture, but the little icon that was floating was a gun, from what I could tell. Little weird. Little weird. Let's pull the Force Commander back. And now that we've got our scouts in place, we're going to need to deal with this building here. So we'll jump into stealth really quick and then throw a satchel charge on there. Let's get Avatus into position now rather than later. Hopefully they didn't. I hope that's close enough. There we go. Let me get you guys a better camera view here really quickly. And that's actually kind of a nasty way to approach this position. I might see what I can do with baiting here. I don't know what's up and over there either. We want to be careful about that. I don't know if I should take the shrine or the communications tower. I should definitely take one of them though here. I'll probably take the communications tower. I don't know. Either one works. We'll figure it out. Let me see if the TAC Marines can uncover what's going on over here. Maybe get Avatus into there, although I can't really guarantee that's going to be safe. We'll move the scouts in to cover him. And then we'll have the Force Commander step out here into the open and hopefully draw any nasty fire that's going to be coming our way. And they are still in stealth. It's amazing how long that lasts. But then again, I think I gave them the trait in the last episode that allows them to stand still and not lose energy. So I can bait them a little closer. There it is. So what kind of engagements I can get going on here. Put a grenade on them. Well then, that's not very polite. Throwing grenades at people. I think what I'll do is maybe have them take up a spot behind this wall right here. And then I might consider... I kind of want to move them, but I don't really have a good place for them yet. Force Commander can charge. There we go. Just bump him on out of the way. Destroy as much of that cover as we can. Luckily, Space Marines seem to be pretty good at missing their own people, so everything works out there. Armor of the Destroyer. That sounds absolutely fantastic. And then I think I'm actually going to have Tarkus handle this one down here. We'll throw a grenade on this guy, see if we can knock him out of that window. Oh, he managed to kill us off pretty quickly. So that was a horrible idea. We lost a battle brother right there. That is really, really weak. I didn't expect him to get killed that quickly. 
Well, we're taking that CP anyway, so I guess it'll be all right. Oh no. Oh good, they jumped the right guy. That's actually really good. I was worried they were going to grab the wrong guy. I'll get the scouts into position so that they can firefight with those dudes if they can. Taking a look. Wow, that is a big building. I don't even know how many guys could take cover in there, but I'm reasonably sure it'd be a lot. Let's capture that CP really quickly. I don't know where Avatar... Oh, he was down there. Okay. Losing track of my troops here. The sign of a terrible commander. Maybe they'll be able to make that shot. I said to face a different direction, but that works. Over here, Tarkus is getting himself replenished. There it is. We'll destroy that really quickly just to grab another support item. Gun him down really quickly. They're not as wounded as they look on this little... On the sidebar, it always seems like they're more wounded than they are if you look at them from right here. Now that we've got that ticked off our checklist of things to do... Let me go ahead with my scouts and see what's off in this direction really quickly. This looks like a kill zone, which makes me a little bit nervous. I may try and cap that first, then swing back down and around to take the communications array. I don't recall what the communications array does versus the shrine to the emperor, but we'll figure it out once we get there. Put them in stealth really quickly. I'd hate for them to stumble into an ambush here. Well, it looks like we just have a bunch of shooters here. Stick bombers, okay. It's probably safer to come down and around this way, but there are enemies still to be cleared out. Let me get my TAC Marines over to here. We'll get the Devastator Marines into a similar location. These guys are actually running away, strangely enough. So let's relocate to there. We'll put Avatus down here, and we'll get the Force Commander. Put him out front like he should be. Like a good leader, anyways. And we'll have him rush in and see what kind of injury we can cause. Although most of them are going to get annihilated by the lack of cover that they've managed to take. Activate the suppression really quickly so that these guys can't move around so well. Pan around so you guys can see the fight a little bit better. And that should be it for there. Let's take the TAC Marines. We're going to move forward. And I'm definitely thinking this is the better decision off this way. We'll put them over there. And they should be able to kill him on the way by. Yeah. Throw Avatus into position. They're still hanging out in stealth over here. Which is going to give us the unique opportunity to flank fairly well. It's rare that we actually know the enemy's position as well as we do right now. And that is going to aid us in the greater scheme of things. Are you guys still suppressing? No, they're not. And down they go. Let's step ahead with the Force Commander. Force Commander is going to go there. You're going to go there. I think that should be all that we need. I'll position... Oh, who did I just position? I thought I hit the 4 key, and apparently I didn't. You are near an important communication array. Capturing that array would give us a better hold on the planet, Commander. That array is well defended. Capturing it will not be simple. Let me see if I can get the scouts in there to throw that bomb. There we go. And that should clear out the pillbox, which is a big problem right now. And they're now being grenaded, so we'll go ahead and have them run out of cover. And then back into it. Their battle brothers are doing a pretty reasonable job of taking care of the enemy to begin with. They're firing through a mountain, which is fairly impressive. It's a feat that I wish I could have, firing bullets through a mountain. Pretty cool skill. That should be it. I don't see anything else over here. We'll have the scouts grab that position really quickly. It looks like the communication array 
they broadcast signals across the end. That is a really unhelpful tooltip. Tool it doesn't actually specifically say what it does, but it'll drop an ability right here once we actually capture it. The one thing I always worry about is when I do sort of these blind playthroughs where I've played the game a little bit but not a whole lot, the Signum. Yeah, that looks pretty badass. Alright, so we're all refilled. It looks like I got the Signum, which I'm willing to bet, yeah, it's an artillery strike, so that's going to be really, really helpful. I knew there was a reason why I was leaning towards the communications array versus the Statue of the Emperor. I don't remember what the Statue of the Emperor does, though. Avitus, I guess just hang back. There's not really a whole lot for me to have you do right now. There's not enough cover for me to have you do anything. Nothing off that way except a couple of supply crates that I might think of. Oh, Storm Boy's there. That's fun. Tactical Squad's going to fall back to Defilade. Avitus is going to do the same thing. Since they don't have cover, they should go down fairly quickly. Yeah, they're dying quick. We'll send Force Commander up ahead since he's the most resilient. Scout's also a good idea to send up first, but they're a little bit squishier. He can take so many bullets that it doesn't even matter anyways. If he gets completely and totally cut off, he's still probably going to be okay. Ooh, and he baited in the Storm Boys. That's good. Unfortunately, I don't have a real good position for Avatus right now. I think I should be able to get out of suppression with his charge. There we go. Send him over there to get in a fight with them if he can. He's going to destroy that log. He's got a problem with logs. A deep personal problem with logs. Thought I, I thought I heard Devastator fire. Well, I'm not going to concern myself with it, but let's go grab this other CP if we can. Tarkus might be safe right there? I don't really know. Ah, never mind. Let's go ahead and have everybody fall back. There we go. I'm starting to get a feel for the hotkeys now that I've been playing a little bit. There we go. We'll put Avatus right there. Get the remainder of the scouts up here, possibly. I don't want him to destroy the sandbag, which is what he just did. That's what I was worried about, is if he charged, he was going to wipe out the sandbag, which is really, really weak. There we go. Bowl them over really quickly because they have us flanked pretty hard. Herald of the Coming Doom. Sounds like somebody's porno nickname. God. That was a disgusting joke. I feel dirty all over now. And I really don't want to be flanked over here. I'll drop them into position so that at least they can fire back. Tarkus, I think, is going to have to use a grenade over here. They're pretty well dug in. There we go. Wipe out that unit over there. Although it probably would have been better served off to the left. But hindsight and all that. 2020. And they're going to retreat. Looks like they got a bunch of units over here. Let me grab the scouts. Oh, he's still out of stealth. There we go. We're going to want these scouts. Just hang out right there for a minute. How can we serve? I prefer for everybody to be in decent cover. Let me see if I can get everybody into reasonable cover here. Because the second I blow this up, it's going to knock off a giant almighty shitstorm. Drop the commander over there so that he's in the front. Throw that. And then have them retreat as quickly as possible. Maybe even getting a med kit on the way by. Skills. Skills to pay the mediocre bills. And that does leave them with an advancement point. They should be able to kill him before they get there. Let's put Avatus over there. Down he goes. Everything going pretty much according to plan for now. Let's get the scouts up here, have them take a look and see what else there is to worry about. Oh, there's the CP right there. Totally lost track of it. Was that the sound of Imperial Guard? What was that? I thought I just heard like an Imperial Guard Commandant or something.
sometimes they make little cameos. Like, this was one of those strange games where all of the races were kind of in the game. Like, you couldn't play a campaign with any of the races, but you could play, like, multiplayer with all of the races. I really, I remember being very confused by that. It's the same thing they did with Dawn of War 1. I don't really know why, well, I know why. I was going to say, I don't really know why Games Workshop chooses to represent Space Marines so much, but then I thought about it for a second, and I was like, yeah, I do. They are the cash cow. I mean, I'm more of an orc player. I would love to see an orc campaign somewhere. Chaos is okay. I'm not a huge chaos fan, but I like Imperial Guard, and I really, really like orcs. So a campaign using either one of those would make me incredibly happy. When they added Imperial Guard to the first Dawn of War, oh no. Yeah, we need the commander over here. Actually, getting them into a building was going to be the best option here. There we go. So Avatus is now holding down the block in this building. You can see him. He's all up in the windows there. Peekaboo! Let me see if maybe our commander can get rid of them since they seem to have pretty good cover. Just bowl them on over. Ah, a few more of the storm boys coming in. Let me get Tarkus in over here, so at least we've got more than one group firing. We've got another CP over here. I think I'll have the scouts take care of that battery right here. And once they get that job done, I'll swing them back behind this little mesa. And hopefully, they'll have defilade over there, although I can't guarantee it. Oh, tac marines are getting rushed up on. Okay. There we go. Now we've got Avatus jumping in on this one. It's good that he's in that building. That does help out quite a bit. I'm going to have him charge to right there. And that did a reasonable... Well, it destroyed all our cover. So I guess it wasn't that useful of a maneuver. But it did something. It did something. The extents of which it did something are widely debated. The quality by which it did something is widely debated. But at least it did something. Let's take them out of stealth right there. Maybe consider, let's rush him with the Force Commander, get the tackies into position. Maybe Avatus can get in there. Scouts are a little fragile, so maybe I'll keep them in the back somewhere. Hopefully he doesn't charge through the cover right there. Good. He should be able to clean these guys out pretty easily. Looks like we got another Insignia right there, which is going to help us out in the long run. Those Insignias can range from being incredibly useful to being absolutely worthless in my experience. Let's knock that over. If anybody needs a heal, now would be the time, although I don't think they do. We've captured all the CPs. We're wiping out Orcs at a reasonably decent rate. I think we'll just head on in and see if we can fight with Skykilla. Although he's got Storm Boys with him, so this could get a bit rowdy. Let me see what I can do with this over here. Once we get the scouts a sniper rifle, we'll be able to keep them as kind of a back guard. That's what I was a little worried about, that there might be orcs over here. I don't know if I should spend any time actually killing them. They're almost within my range. What am I saying? It's heresy. Of course we have to kill all the orcs. Can't leave any behind. Getting their dirty little spores all over the place. Getting our floors all dusty. You thought skin cells were bad and you had to dust them. Wait till you have orcs around the house leaving their genetic material just laying on your water bottle. Ugh. Nasty. Scouts are taking a little bit of damage, but they have routed one half of that little group right there. And that final shooter should go down. There we go. Move quickly. Tactical Marines ready. With me, brothers, advance. Understood. Going there now. Before the cleansing begins. Everybody kind of deploy where I want them to go to begin with. We have five med kits, which means Sky Killer shouldn't be a problem. The ample nature of med kits in this game does remove a little bit of the challenge, but I wasn't quite ready to play on a higher difficulty, especially with my current Gravitron's disease. Let's get all of them into place. Maybe put him in the center somewhere. I don't really know what Skykiller does, but I'm sure it's not friendly. Yes, but you'll always be beneath me feet. 
You need to get that microphone out from under your mouth. Clipping like crazy. Maybe put some suppressing fire on him. It does do a lot of damage. And he should be okay. I forget what this guy does. I think he marks the ground with big circles or something. Yeah, there it is. New Force Commander. What are you doing? Force Commander is being an idiot. Although he wasn't in the circle, technically. Instead of repositioning everybody just yet... Ooh, and there's a nade out. Let's go ahead and get them at least a little bit out of the way. Medkit there, possibly. Have them fire a few more rounds off that way. Let me get Tarkus and his boys back into maybe a firing position. I don't know if they can make that shot. He's about to take off again, so let me crawl away here. My units keep shifting and doing things that are making me a little bit terrified. There we go. Looks like he got confused there for a second. I don't like the way everybody's in this little area. That puts them at real risk for just a nasty explosive grenade. Maybe draw them back a tad. See if we can get him back into firing. Yeah, I was worried about that. Let's get all these guys out of the way. You too. Commander, no. see if we can get back into combat with the commander. Luckily, he doesn't seem to be hurting the commander too much. We're pretty much... He's going to go after these guys, I can tell already. Yep. Wow, that is a lot of nades. Hopefully, it doesn't hit this squad over here. I don't think it will. Seems to be getting desperate. This is like that last 30 seconds of the raid fight where the boss is just doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Look at that lovely focused fire. Health tick tick ticking away. And yeah, maybe put a med kit on some. Oh no. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get out of the way of that one in time, but he's pretty close, anyways. We'll keep on bulldozing him. And down he goes. The armor of purgation. <laughs> I love the orcs. And we are on out of here. Let's see how we did with the rating that it gives us here. Let our enemies beware, for victory is ours. Got ourselves some improved scout armor. Not the best item, but not the worst either. It's better than nothing, and they're basically running around nude, which is causing us all kinds of indecency problems. Alright, we did okay. Nobody died, so at least we did well there. Fury I was hoping we would do a little better on, and Speed I've altogether abandoned. I know there's probably people out there speed running this game, but I'm not one of them. As far as level ups go, looks like Force Commander and Tarkus have both made a nice little leap in proficiency. We got a ton of gear that we're going to have to allocate in the next episode. That should be fun, though. Well done, Commander. We have found crucial evidence among the remains of Skykiller and Gutwrench's orcs. Both had recently visited Fellhammer Mine in the mountains outside Argus. Whoever is stirring up the orcs must be using Fellhammer as a base of operations. Alright, so that puts us right at the 30 minute mark. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Dawn of War 2. It's day number 5. I will see you guys next time in our fourth episode. Take care, everybody. See you there.